The White House is running very well and that he is in the process of fixing what he calls the mess he inherited. The mess refrain was one he used several times at his press conference last week. I inherited a mess. It's a mess. At home and abroad, a mess. Jobs are pouring out of the country. You see what's going on with all of the companies leaving our country, going to Mexico and other places. Low pay, low wages, mass instability overseas, no matter where you look. The Middle East, a disaster. North Korea, we'll take care of it, folks. We're going to take care of it all. I just want to let you know, I inherited a mess. Well, as part of our ongoing look at past presidents and their first 100 days, we thought tonight was as good a time as any to look back at the Obama presidency start in 2009. Hussein Obama do solemnly swear. Inauguration day was a chilly, clear day. Crowds as far as uh, the eye could see. President Bush, who, by the way, we had pilloried during that campaign, he puts his hands on my shoulders and he says, Axelrod, I've been watching you. Now I don't know whether he's going to punch me in the face or what. And he says, you're going to do all right here. He said, but my only advice to you is uh, just drink in every minute because you're in for the ride of your life and it's going to go by faster than you ever imagined. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. It was a big lift for the country. It wasn't just the theme of Obama, the hope in change, but that an African-American had become president was astonishing. A man whose father less than 60 years ago might not have been served at a local restaurant can now stand before you to take a most sacred oath. This guy is the Beatles. He, at that time, was the most beloved and powerful and exciting human on Earth. Obama, very much like Kennedy, it's the youth. It's that, you know, we're going to fix things. Equally uh, astonishing was how young he was. Obama understood that he needed to surround himself with people who also had more experience. And he knew that from President Lincoln, who he had idolized. He had called me up and told me he had read Team of Rivals and we had to talk. So he brought me down to Washington to talk about how could a man be a great president and a good president? How could a man forget people who'd hurt him? And when he reached out to Hillary Clinton, he knew that he was putting his chief rival into that most important position, Secretary of State, just as Lincoln had. Inauguration Day, there was a sense of both history uh, this, the first African-American president taking office that uh, was kind of electric and also a sense of concern about the extraordinary crisis that we were in, the economic crisis. Every so often, the oath is taken amidst gathering clouds and raging storms. The storm clouds were obviously gathering. I remember once uh, flying in the campaign plane with him and he was reading the Wall Street Journal and he lowered the paper just enough for me to see his eyes and he said, are we sure we want this job? This market is as volatile as you'll ever see. Dow has fallen about 18 percent. 600 point loss. Who knows where this is going to end up? There was still fear at the time of Obama's inauguration that this recession could turn to a depression that at any moment the stock market might just drop and the bottom might fall out. The Wall Street has its worst showing ever on an inaugural day. Companies were downsizing massively. Uh, home prices were tumbling. I mean, the Great Recession was a real hole, and Obama was trying to dig us out of it. 
Starting today, we must pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and begin again the work of remaking America. We begin this year in this administration in the midst of an unprecedented crisis that calls for unprecedented action. One of the things President Obama had to do right out the gate was get the economy up and running. So the stimulus package became the, the, the golden bow event. He had to get that through Congress. It's a plan that will save or create three to four million jobs over the next few years. We would lose 800,000 jobs in that month that we took office with a one in three chance that we'd have a second Great Depression. The Recovery Act was essential. If we didn't have the Recovery Act, we wouldn't have a recovery. It's as simple as that. I do hope that uh, we can all put politics aside and do the American people's business. We had a pathway forward. Uh, at that time, we had no idea how uncooperative the Republicans were going to be. Coming up, the fights President Obama faced in